Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all fine. I make it just a minute or two after 10. Hope you're feeling great today. Um, it's so lovely to feel that things are getting a little bit back to normal and that Scotland's done so well um, on uh, trying to reduce this as much as possible. So still thinking that we'll be back at the end of August in the studio. Remember, if you weren't listening last week, to start thinking about getting your own mat, as we will not be sharing any equipment. Your own mat, your own towels, your own block, your own bands, everything. Um, and uh, obviously there'll be huge amounts of uh, hand stuff when you come in. So looking forward to seeing you all at the end of August. But let's get going today just to keep us all going. We're going with these classes online till the end of July and then leaving them up on the platform for you to decide to do as little or as often as you wish in the month of August before we return. Well done. Let's get going and get you warmed up. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to shrug those shoulders up to the ears and drop them deep down in the spine. And shrug and... Good. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to twist straight away today. For eight. Look behind you. Soft knees. Just go at your own. Twist straight away today. For eight. Look behind you. Soft knees. Just go at your own pace. Good. Look behind you. Good. Let's do that again. Up, down. Also in the shrugs and the little twists. Five, six, seven, eight, and twist for eight. Here, just look behind you, nice and gently, own time. If you need to go a little bit slower than me, just take your time. Good. Okay, we're going to swing and rotate at the shoulder, palms face behind you, palms face behind. Good. Let's do eight of them. Good, now we're going to reach. Reach, stretch those fingertips to that wall and in. Other way, for four. And reach to the sky. And look up when you reach. Up, do that one again. Reach, stretch those fingers, well done. Really wake those bodies up. Good, and sky, look up. Sky, look up. Excellent, well done. Bring those feet together. We're just going to do a bend and stretch. So you're just going to get your balance in the right place. Now, while we're doing this, we can be thinking about our principles of Pilates. So get that lovely zipped up feeling like you've got your tight pair of jeans on, which is really your pelvic floor, pulling up deep inside you, up to level number three, and three notches around your waist with a 10 notch belt. Open that chest and a nice neutral spine. So we're not doing anything strange with the curves in our spine. And a nice gap between chin and chest. And we're going to be thinking about those while we do a bend and a little rise. Good. Good. Just get that weight placement in the right place for the rest of the class. Super. So your weight is two thirds in the balls of your feet and a third in your heels. Well done. Let's do two more sets. Nice and slow in room time. Remember, you can use a little chair for balance if you need it. Well done. Good. And then just point and flex those toes. Okay? So we're just going to again stand. We're going to have our feet hip width apart here. And just relax those arms. We're just flexing, pointing and flexing the ankle. Well done. A point and a flex. Good. Lovely, let's do four more sets of them. Keep all those principles going now, keep thinking about those belts. Open that chest here. Last two sets, nice neutral spines. Lovely. So now we've thought about all our principles today, let's get going with our breathing. Feet to get the heart. I love Pilates breathing. It's very good for the soul, the body and the mind. Okay, get those fingers on the ribs so that you can feel them expanding and contracting like a balloon. Ready, inhale. Through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in. And out. 
lovely. And let's do two more sets of them in nice and deeply in. Expand those ribs and out through the mouth. And in, in. And out. Good. If you keep those fingers on those ribs while you're doing that, you will feel that uh, expansion and contraction of the ribs like a balloon. Well done. So you should feel nice and warmed up. Give yourselves a little shake. Excellent. Let's get going today and remember, choose the right level for you throughout the class. If anything's sore, just modify it. Stick a towel underneath a knee or a hip or a neck. And don't lift the neck from the mat if you suffer from a sore neck. It would probably be better to leave it on the mat. Good. Let's get going today. Come to the end of the mat. Think about those lovely zips like tall bodies. And inhale to the curve. And on the exhale, we're going to do chin to chest. We're going to walk forward. We're going to go straight down today into our swan. Alright, so let's put our heads forward. The basic leg of swan. Inhale to prepare. Just isolate the upper back. And then we can take it to the next level with me, which is to push up, inhale. Do six to ten repetitions of these. And if you want to progress it, you push right up here. And another progression of this to rock with the lower back. Off you go in your own time. I'm going to do eight of these today. You can choose to do six or ten, just go in your own time. Well done. Inhale to prepare our slip up the spine. Move on your out breath. Good. Lovely. Well done. Float those arms up. And stick to the other one. Just with floating those arms up. And down if you need to. Choose what's right for you. Table for me. Remember to keep engaging those tummy buttons. Imagine there's a little black there under your tummy button that you don't want to squash in the mat. Well done, I'm going to go back into a lovely child's pose to stretch out that spine. Then when you're ready, move forward. Onto all fours, if you can manage that today. Stack those arms beneath your shoulders and we're going to do your um, beautiful curls. So we're going to do these curls where you're going to pull the tummy back in. And curve your spine and then let your tailbone lead back. Good. So these are your cat stretches. So use your tummy button to pull in. And let your head go down. And curve that spine and then use your tailbone to pull you back. It really wakes up the whole of the spine. Good. Do six to ten for a time. Inhale to the head. Really squeeze that tummy back in to round the spine. And then let the tailbone go back. Good. Pull that tummy back in. Mobilize that spine so that it can move in as many nice mobile directions as possible. Pull that tummy back in and engage it to take the round shape. And then use your tailbone to lead back. Good. I'm going to do two more sets. Use your breathing for these cat stretches. Good. Lovely. And then you're just going to stay in there and we're going to go into your swimming. Well done. So from there, the swimming can be just lifting, keep those ribs under control and lengthen those arms and legs. Use your breathing. It's not about the height of the legs. 
It's about a lengthening position of piece of string through the body. Now remember that's the basic level I've just done. You can progress this to the tap. Keep those ribs under control. And if you feel your ribs pop out, you mean that you come out of your neutral spine. And you need just to take care and then you pull back to the basic level. Well done. So choose whichever level suits you. And this can progress to the spine wisdom as well if you can manage that. But that is for more advanced and um, plantar pupils requiring more control of your core and your back. Good. Well done. Continue with the breathing in your own time. Six to ten sets. I'm going to do eight of these today. Sorry, my phone has just gone. I'm just going to ignore it. Apologies for that. And two more sets. Good. Lengthen those fingers and toes away from each other here. Before you swim sideways, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Keep those ribs nice and quiet and then pull back. Lovely chance pose. We're just going to walk those things to one side. And then back to centre. Walk those things the other way. And back to centre. Well done. And then we're going on to our sides. Good. So by doing the, the um, child pose and walking your fingers sideways, what you're doing is using these waist muscles. And that's exactly what you're going to do when you're on your side as well. Line yourselves up with the mat. Just get your head on your forearm here. We're going to do the clam today. So this is the one which hinges at the hip. So bend the bottom knee in. And just go out and in. Well done, use that breathing. Make sure again that you're not sticking out your ribs, you've got a nice neutral spine. Just take your time. Keep good technique. Well done. Now, if you suffer from a sore hip and this just gets too sore for you, just stop. And just give a little massage here. I'm going to do eight. It's just mobilizing that hip joint. Good. Little ball and socket joint that you've got there. Now down to my last one. Lovely. Good. And then you're just going to whiz round onto the other side. Onto that forearm. Just get yourself lined up again so that you can use the front of the mat or the towel, whatever you've got. Bend both legs in. You can have your hand here or here for balance. And you're just going to open and do the same number on the other leg of the clam. Okay, use your breathing, just enjoy and relax. Again, six to ten sets of them, but try and be equal on both of your sides of your body. Good. Now remember not to worry about how easy that rotation is for you. You might have less movement there than I've got there um, and it will be completely depends on the natural rotation in your hip socket, so don't worry. Well done, good. Again, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to go back onto our sides, but we're going to do the side leg swing. Now, last week we moved this to a new level. So you can either do the side swing, um, which for most of us will be on our sides again. Same position to start, but stretch your legs long this time. Make sure we're all lined up in front of your table or your mat. Generally, it's probably easy to have your hand here for this for balance. And this is just swinging the leg forward, um, but keeping your spine neutral. Let those ribs pull back and using the heel to pull back. Swinging the leg forward, 
and the heel to pull back, but keeping those ribs under control. So that's level one. You would do six to ten sets of them nice and slow in your own time, concentrating on your breathing and your spine and your technique here without keeping your ribs out. Or the progression that we did last week for more advanced students was to do it on one leg. So let's go and do that. You take your arms into a plain shape here. We pop to the side here. We stretch that leg out long, and this was quite challenging. So whichever swing suits you, this is the more advanced level. And again, this is quite hard. You've got to keep those ribs under control. Don't let them pop out. And I'm going to do eight sets of them. Choose the right arm for you. Don't do this one. If it's very, very sore on any part of your body, stick to the floor one on your applying down on your forearm. And also here, you're just isolating that leg, the back and the spine and the ribs shouldn't be moving. Isolate that leg. Good, well done. And back to your kneeling. Good, inhale. And we go over to the side, stretch that leg, and off we go again. Forward with the toe, back with the heel. This takes a lot of concentration to keep those belts on and to prevent your spine from coming out of neutral. So let those ribs pop out. Well done, just enjoy. Whichever level you're doing, this is excellent for your core. This one just builds on the one that lies down. But it may not be suitable for everybody, so you choose. Good. Well done. You can feel that. I can feel that in my hips and in all my joints. Very well done. Okay, we're going to sit down on the mat. Nice top tail bones. I want you to move towards the end of your mat, or your towel. Sit up really nice and tall on those tailbones, and you're just going to pull back to the front in and roll down to the mat. Good. Lovely, well done. Just have a little breather for a minute. Just nice deep breaths, the thoracic breaths. Let's just do four of them with your hands and your ribs. In your own time. Good. Okay, we're going to get your hands into that little triangle or diamond shape here. Place it on your abdomen. And you're going to try and keep this pelvis nice and stable and the ribs. And all you're going to do is the legs slide. So just one leg at a time, ideally towards the pointed toe, and bring it back. And this Pelvis should be staying absolutely stable while you do it. Let's do eight of them. You can keep your hand here just to check that this is nice and stable and that you're not coming out of your neutral spine. Good. This is deceptively hard, but it's much harder than it looks. Because many people will find that their ribs will want to curve up and pop out of the neutral spine. What you're trying to do here is isolate the leg. Keep that pelvis nice and still by drawing on those muscles. Use the belt the same way um, as we did at the beginning for the belt around your waist. Now, we're going to do that again with the hands. We're going to do a double leg. So this time, I want you to slide the heels out. Still keeping that pelvis nice and still. Stretch the toes and draw them back. Good. So hide the heel and draw the toes. Slide the heels. A little bit tricky if your feet get stuck on the carpet. <laughs> bit easier for me in the studio here with the soft mat and then the hard floor makes it a bit easier. Good. Keep the weight of those legs. So try not to lift them off the floor. Keeping that pelvis still. Long set for me. 
Good. And let's just hug those knees. Well done. Okay, we're going to do a pelvic curl now, followed by a chest curl. So keep your hands there, it's probably a good idea. And we're just going to inhale and on the exhale, squeeze the bottom and just tilt that imaginary bowl of water to you and then take it back down. Let's do four of them. Really squeeze that tummy back in, pull it in. Imagine that somebody scooped out that tummy with some an ice cream scoop. Breathe in, scoop it out, squeeze the bottom. You're not going into the bridge yet, you're just doing a pelvic tilt. Good, now we've done four of them, and then we're just going to do a little chest lift if you can. Just pull your chest off the floor and take it back down again to four. Use your breathing and use your tummy button to help pull you up the centre of your body, your powerhouse and heart is good. Four chest curls, and then we're going to do four pelvic curls again. Just repeat that, good. Keep your hands there, make sure those ribs aren't popping out. This is so good for you. Lovely, and then the little chest curls, fall in with the chest curls. Lovely, well done. You should breathe in. So inhale to prepare on the lift. Draw that tummy back in to help pull you up. Draw the tummy back in and engage it. Well done. Lovely. And give those knees a nice hug. Excellent. Doing brilliant then. Okay. We're going to go into the 100 here. So let's get ready for this one. Now this one is on lots of different levels. Inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're doing tabletop. Inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, tabletop. Now you can continue with the bent knees and head on the mat. Paddling for five for the deep breath. And exhaling for five. Or we can raise the chest. And then bring those legs down. Remember those legs need to be tabletop. Inhale. Eight, sorry, six to ten of them. Now I am also going to stretch legs, which should be more advanced, so you can do this if you wish. Just stick to the level that's right for you. And remember your head does not need to lift off the mat, especially if you're a beginner or you suffer from any neck problems at all. So keep these muscles engaged, whatever level you are. I'm going to do eight of them, but you choose what you do. Good. Such a good one. Nice basic one in Pilates. So good for your abs and core and your spine. You really feel it. If you engage these properly. Okay, three more sets for me. Good. Two more sets for me. Remember, you stick to your right level. It's for you. Last set for me. Good, and then just hug those knees when you're ready. Give them a nice hug and also a little massage. Little rock here. Excellent, well done. Nice deep breaths. Doing a really lovely class, well done. Okay, we're going to do a back swim now. So your legs are kind of in the right position here. So we're going to stretch our arms back if we can, legs back to tabletop, arms up here now, and we're going to take opposite tap, toe tapping down to arm going back, 
and bring it back to tabletop. Now notice that you're going to have to work really super hard to keep these ribs from popping out. If they do, when you take your arm back, you can't do um, it fully back on the floor, just take it as far as you can go without your ribs popping out. Okay, to use your breathing and enjoy. Opposite arm to leg. Don't worry if it goes wrong. It's a bit like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. I'm going to do eight sets of these all together. You go in your own time. Try and think about your technique. Belts are on. Back is in neutral. Ribs are higher. Nice deep breathing. Legs back to table to Good. Encouraging a useful long lean muscle memory. So the more you do it correctly with the correct technique, the better it will be that you're working to get that muscle memory to do it the correct way each time. Last two sets for me. Okay, let's go on to our shoulder bridge. Let's get nice and stable here. So I'm just going to move back a little bit on my mat here. Nice deep breaths. On the inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to pull that tummy back in so much that we scoop it out, we squeeze those glutes together. And up we roll, up we roll, up we roll. Remember, a nice key slope from knee to chest, but only going onto your back, upper back, and not onto your neck. When you get to the top here, let's do some nice deep breaths. Nice thoracic breaths. Let's just do two plain sets of these. Shoulder grip, beautiful shoulder grip, just nice and plain. Getting that lovely strong shoulder bridge core and then use that tummy button to engage and pull you back and see if every bit of can touch that floor as slowly as possible. Just challenge yourself up just look around there so that you see how slowly I'm doing that. Each vertebra is getting its own little workout. This is the one, isn't it, for your pelvis, your spine and your back. It's just so good and for your abs as well. Okay, we're going to do another plain one like that before we add any arms and legs. So you can just stick to these plain ones if this is the right level for you. Keep those ribs nice and calm. And then using your spine to go down as slowly as you can. That should be interesting. Excellent. Now continue with that baseline level. Or add arms and legs if you wish. Squeeze, you can squeeze those glutes together and roll up. Now don't add arms and legs if your bridge um, isn't sustainable, if you can't hold it there. If you can hold it there and you feel strong enough, you can add your arms and legs. Or you can just add legs or just add arms. Just depends on where you're at, pick your level and go in your own time. I'm going to do a further five, so we can do eight in total. You can do six to ten in your own time. Use your breathing. This is the best Pilates exercise in the world. Good. Well done. Keep holding on to those cores, don't let the ribs out. Well 
and I'm going to do two more sets of them. Just go in your own time. If you finish the quarter exercise, just do a nice stretch. Any stretch that you like that makes you feel. You'll notice I've increased my repetitions to eight today. By the time we get to the end, if you're like, I'll probably do a class with nine or ten repetitions of things. But that doesn't mean that you have to at home. You can please yourselves in terms of how far you want to progress. Um, but by the end of July, I would probably be suggesting that those who feel strong enough do nine or ten repetitions of things. Well done. Good. And then a nice stretch. That feels brilliant, doesn't it? Oh, excellent. Brilliant. So we're going to do our scissors now. So for our scissors, as you know, again, we have lots of different levels. So we can just start in this lovely back setup position here. We can just bend the knees and on the basic level, all we're doing is keeping everything under control and engage the ribs down and just tapping bent legs, toe to toe simultaneously, but keeping everything stable and engaged here. Again, on your own time, do eight, six to ten sets, or progress that to stretch legs and chest off the floor if you feel strong enough. Off you go on your own time. I'm going to do eight sets of these. Remember, challenge yourself as much or as little as you want to you know your body's the best. You can also do a nice little pull at the end then if you want. Last one. Good. And hug those knees. Well done. Really good. Okay, we're going to do our roll back then. So we're going to push those legs up and sit up nice and tall. Make sure you're right on these tailbones. I'm going to use these tummy muscles to engage. Let's just start off with our baseline level. So nice and tall, using your arms forward, curling that spine, really bend it, go back as far as you wish, and use that tummy bone. To pull you straight up again. Inhale. I'm going to do four sets of these and then I'm going to do eight roll backs. So you go on your own time there. You don't need to fully roll back, obviously, if you're not ready. Just continue with these. This is the same movement as the roll back without going back and rolling onto the mat. So this is just as beneficial for you if you don't want to proceed to the full roll back. Use these tummies. Really engage them. The further you go back there, the more you're going to work your abs. So you might do a small curve, or you might go all the way back down here. And you use that to back to pull you back. Continue with them. And if not, do the full roll back. Good. Use that to make that to do this. Lovely. And a nice stretch. Really well done, good. Super duper duper. Okay, finish with um, preparation for the teaser. And then we're going to do a lovely little back stretch before we do your back ones and your stretches to finish. Now done. So prep for teaser. Remember we have lots of different levels of these. So the baseline level is a nice neutral spine, a set up position with the knees bent, and all you want to do is flex that leg, and if you can manage, pull your chest up, go back down, and replace that leg. Inhale. Then lift, head back down and replace. Good, I'll do two more sets of them. 
just so you can see. So extend the leg first, lift the chest, take the chest down, and bend. Nice. Now continue with that if you would like, or we can go into the teasers that we've been doing. So there is the one leg teaser, which is just to go from here into that position and take it back down. And you can use your other leg here, roll up, balance, take it back down. Or we can go into the full teaser. I'm going to do four sets of them. Now you choose your level. So we're going to start from the hug. Okay, the hug at the knees. And then we have to try and find our balance. Good. Go at your own pace. Use those tummy buttons. Excellent, well done. Well done, good. Excellent. And we're going to finish with a lovely back twist. So we'll just sit up nice and tall. Take one leg over and sit up tall and move away from it. Look away from it. This is just such a gorgeous stretch. I want to do 20 or 30 seconds of these stretches. Good. Try your other leg. Get that nice twist going on. Only do as much as is comfortable for you. Well done. Sit up nice and tall. And we're going to do the, the pulses for the spine now. If you need to be sitting on a towel or a block in order to get that lovely lifted position here, then do so. If not, just legs in any position that suit you. Zip those bodies up again, nice tall. Bodies, arms to the side, and keep this chin. In fact, we'll put our hands under here just to check that we're doing it right today. Chin to chest ratio. Inhale, and we're going to turn and pulse three times. Turn as far as you can, pulse two, three, and back to center. Use your breathing, inhale. And twist one, two, three. So you're only turning your spine as far as it naturally will. Inhale. On the exhale. And back to centre. Use your breathing. Good. Put those arms out to the side and maintain that ratio. And back to centre. Back to centre. Let's do two more sets. Back to centre. And back to centre. Well done. Okay, let's go sideways. Nice to spines again. Let's just stretch up and then we're going to curl over and imagine you reach one on your lap. Inhale. And pull the tummy back in. And curl that spine back up. And let's do that one more time. Arms are up. Inhale. Pull that tummy back in and curve over each ball. You can roll the spine back up. Lovely work, well done. Good. It's relaxation time. Go and get your pair of bands and I'll get some nice music on. Well done. And a great practice. Off we go in your own time. You know your stretches now. So you 
know what feels good for you, but make sure that every muscle group gets a nice stretch. 20 to 30 seconds each stretch. This is as important as your exercises. Okay, just relax into those stretches and enjoy this bit. It's really important that you stretch those bones out after the last body's work so hard on your pores, in particular your spine, and Pilates that the stem. The stretch is very important.
you for following me today. I hope you've enjoyed that class. We're on again next week. And if you're interested in trying gentle adult ballet, I added a new one on this morning. So just search for adult ballet class two. Lots of love. I'll see you same time next week. Thanks for following. Keep it up. Bye.